Hi everybody, we're going to talk about the muscles of breathing. Now, really, there's not much to talk about when it comes to the muscles of breathing or respiration. You just have to know some things that are very, very tricky. For one thing, you have your ribs, your external and internal costals muscles. They're here, they're in your ribs. You eat them, Tony Romas. Um, um, um. They're very good to eat, by the way. And they're tender, mostly. You know why they're tender? Because they don't move very much. Muscles that move a lot get tough, they get strong. But muscles that don't move very much uh, get, are tender. And um, so the ribs are usually tender. They're usually very tender. Uh, you get your, 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 your exception to the rule sometimes uh, when you have cow ribs, they're, you know, they're, they're very thick and tough and you know, but but uh, if you cook them right, you can always tenderize them. But usually the cow ribs or the pig's ribs, they're, they're, um, they're pretty, um, uh, they can be very tender. Anyway, uh, intercoastals, internal, external, okay? Uh, there's also the diaphragm muscle, and you know where that is, right? That's right. Uh, let me see if there's a, if there's a um, yeah, the diaphragm respiration muscles. Uh, that doesn't look like a diaphragm to you, does it? No, it doesn't. Anyway, um, the uh, diaphragm is, uh, it causes your lungs to elongate. When you breathe in, you can't breathe in unless your phrenic nerve, C3, 4, and 5, keep the diaphragm alive. It's a diaphragm that has to be innervated by C3, cervicals 3, 4, and 5, which create the phrenic nerve. It innervates the, the, uh, the muscle of the diaphragm, which causes it to contract. It contracts by going down. It elongates the lungs by pulling them down, and you breathe easier. It's almost like increasing the space, which is what you're doing. You're increasing the surface space of the lungs so that you can breathe in much easier. Okay, so those three muscles you got to remember. But when you're deep breathing, when you're going, well, there's a lot of other muscles involved now, aren't there? So the sternocleomastoid helps lift your chest up. So that's part of it as well. Your, your pectoralis, minor and major, will start to work as well. Right? You're increasing chest. <laughs> so, you know, that's causing you to, um, to increase uh, uh, as well. And it's not healthy to do that all, all the time. You need to only do your deep breathing when you are exercising, but there are people that are ill that can't breathe, so they, they always have to breathe. And look, my shoulders are you being used, my muscles of the chest are being used, my sternocleomastoid is being used, and my internal and external uh, 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 costals are being used, and my diaphragm is being used. So, you know, when it comes to normal everyday breathing, three muscles you gotta remember intercostals of the external and internal and the diaphragm those are your muscles and remember the phrenic nerve innervates the diaphragm so that you can breathe without that you cannot breathe and if you give somebody a little punch right there in the bread basket right under the xiphoid process that's where your diaphragm is located it actually divides the thoracic cavity from your abdominal cavity you give them a little shot right there uh, 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 they can't breathe. The diaphragm. But don't punch anybody, okay? We're, we try to be nonviolent in our society. At least we try to be. So anyway, um, those are the muscles. Let me see if there's anything else here that I can, I can, uh, I can express to you. Here goes your external, external. There goes your internal intercostals. External, internal intercostals. And there goes your, uh, and then we're going we're gonna to be talking about the abdo abdomen now. So I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to be talking about the abdomen muscles, okay? See you later.